The very first time I was paid $1,000 from YouTube, I was surprised because it was not from AdSense, right? My mindset when I started was that, you know, you start, you get started, you get views, get subscribers, get monetized and start earning money through AdSense. That is correct, but that was a flawed mindset at the time when I started. So sometime in 2021, when I was paid $1,000 on YouTube, I was surprised because my AdSense wasn't giving me that huge amount. Yeah, it was a huge amount at that time. So that was when I realized that there are different other channels via which you can make more money on YouTube that are not AdSense. Okay. Of course, AdSense pays you, but AdSense, the money you get from AdSense is very little. It is small compared to how much you can earn through other sources of income within your YouTube channel. When I discovered this, it was a game changer for me, for my channel, and for my life. All right? Welcome to my channel. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you five things I wish I knew before I started YouTube. And um, after the five things, I'm going to give you two extra bonuses, which I believe that if you implement in your own channel or on your YouTube journey, it's going to be of immense help to you. So guys, without wasting time, pay attention and let's get down to business. So the first thing is that YouTube is a serious business. Yes, YouTube is a serious business. So you have to treat YouTube as a business. Okay. Treat it as you treat a real business and in turn, it will bless your life and that of your viewers. Don't just put out half-baked information. Don't just put out content that is not properly arranged because you want to get views and get monetized and make money. You will be hot. People who watch your videos might not be interested in, continue, in continuing watching your video, okay? They might not subscribe, they might not come back to watch and stuff like that. You need to build a community. You need people around you. You need people who are interested in the topics or in the discussions that you bring to the platform. So take it as a serious business. Invest your time in it. Invest your energy in it. Invest your attention in it. Do some research. Do some studies. Watch other videos. See what they are doing. See how you can do it better and then do it youtube is serious business and it is those who take it as a serious business that are being blessed there's a lot of money to be made here youtube has blessed my life i've made a couple of thousands of, of thousands of dollars from this channel people have people have contacted me they've paid me money to just just to mention their brand just to mention it <laughs> do you understand just to mention their brand in my videos they pay you imagine how easy that is Companies approach you, hey, just mention our brand, we'll give you some amount of money. You negotiate and then they pay you that amount. All you need to do is mention the amount a significant number of time across your videos. Easy peasy. But that can only happen when they see the seriousness you have, you have invested into building your channel. This is a business. Take the time, build it, feed it, and it will build you and feed you. My second point is that consistency is better than intensity, especially on YouTube. Consistency and the long-term plan. Play the long-term game because it is better than intensity. If you show up consistently, you will win. If you show up consistently, you are going to win. The YouTube algorithm favors consistency over intensity. Okay, so if you are new to YouTube, you, are, you have a new channel, a, a, you, are, you are a new YouTuber or a small YouTuber and you want to grow, instead of posting videos every day for one week and then you are not posting for the next three weeks or for the next one month, it is better you post two videos weekly. Be consistent at posting the two videos weekly. After your first month, you begin to see traction, you begin to see improvement, you begin to notice growth. This is because the algorithm will have enough data from your channel to feed into the platform, to recommend your videos. That is why when you go into your analytics, your YouTube analytics, you will now begin to see how your videos have been discovered, mostly through recommendations, through browser, right? It is when you begin to grow that you will now see that people are beginning to discover your channel through search, through uh, WhatsApp, because people are sharing it, right? And through notifications, because people have turned on notification bell for your channel. 
So do not have that intensity of I'm going to be making videos every day. Then you make videos for one week or one month. And then for the next two months, you are overwhelmed. You have you're, you're worn out. You're not making videos. It will hurt your channel. If you make videos, publish, and then stop for a period of time, it will hurt your growth. It will hurt your channel. So focus on consistency over intensity. Two videos a week is fine. Personally, when I started, I was publishing three videos weekly. And in one month, I and in one month I got 1,000 subscribers in less than one month. And in less than three months, I was monetized. So consistency over intensity. Please, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Yeah. The only way that you can support my channel right now is to like this video. And of course, feel free to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. The third point is deep linking will get you more subscribers with so much ease. With so much ease. All right. Deep linking will get you more subscribers. So if you have the fonts, personally, I use URL, URL Genius. So you can search on Google URL Genius. Right. I use it to deep link. So let's check it out. URL Genius. Okay. URL Genius. So this is it here. App linking for marketers. So this is what I use. Okay. So you can simply sign in, you know, get your own link. It makes it easier. They said grow mobile conversion sales and in stores by 200% or more. So what this URL genius does, does for you is that, for instance, if you post a video on YouTube and you want people to watch your video and subscribe to your channel, people are mostly on People mostly go through YouTube on their mobile phone, right? On their smartphones. So when you take that link, that video link, and make a post on your profile and post it on Facebook, for instance, or on Twitter, people click on that and then they watch the video. When they click on subscribe, it will prompt them because they are still on they are still on Facebook or on Twitter. It will prompt them to sign in to YouTube first. Now I can assure you that out of one hundred people that will sign that will click on that thing and see that sign in. 90 of them will bounce out, will bounce out. 95 of them will bounce out. Most people do not even know their Gmail password, right? And most people do not want to go through the inconvenience of signing in first before they subscribe to your channel. So to save you that stress, to save them that stress, you use a deep linking, you do use a deep linking platform like that URL genius that I just showed you. You put, you input your link there, and it will generate a new link for you so that whenever anybody clicks on your link on Facebook, it will open up YouTube app immediately. Instead of going through Facebook, it just open the YouTube app. For instance, if you put your YouTube link on your Instagram bio for people to click and then subscribe to your YouTube channel, they will click on it. But when they click on subscribe, it will request that they log in first, they sign in first. However, with a deep link, it will bypass that signing. It will take them straight to subscribe and become your subscribers. So deep linking will get you more subscribers with so much ease. Think about it. If you can afford it, I think URL Genius is about ten to fifteen dollars per month or there about or for one hundred for every one hundred clicks. All right. So if it's something you can afford, go for it. It will get, it will save you a lot of. It will get you more more subscribers in the shortest period of time. So number four, you can make money from YouTube channel even if you're not monetized. The first time I got, I was paid $1K. It was not via AdSense. It was via sponsorship, right? Where I simply made a video and explained some information about a particular platform for people who were interested in that platform. I was paid to do that. Do you understand? So brands will approach you you have to put your email address on your youtube bio on your youtube uh, on the about page of your youtube put what your channel is about introduce yourself then you can say for sponsorship or collaboration then you put your email address there brands will contact you via that email address put it there you're going to get some good collaboration some good partnership and sponsorship deals it might not be too much money as a young as a small youtuber but as you grow you begin to command more fees okay so you can be getting probably five hundred dollars one thousand dollars two thousand dollars at the end of the month cumulatively 
So yes, AdSense is not the only way to earn on YouTube. Brand partnerships, sponsorships, and collaborations are also ways that you can explore earning. Of course, you can also earn via affiliate marketing by simply analyzing some products, putting the link on your videos, and people who use that link to make a purchase, you get a certain commission. You can also earn when you build a community and you sell a program, like a course, like a class, like a tutorial, like a training, whatever it is. So there are different channels via which you can earn on YouTube. All right? Even if you're not monetized. Don't just focus on AdSense. The money you get from AdSense is small compared to when you begin to explore other sources of income within your channel. Number five, you don't need a fancy gadget or a fancy equipment to start as a beginner. Okay? All you need is your smartphone, a wireless microphone, okay, and a light source. You can start creating videos. For instance, I don't have any any fancy gadget, okay? All I have is my laptop, which I'm using to make this video, and um, an iPhone 13 Pro Max here, and then I have my wireless microphone. So whenever I'm using my phone, I use my phone and the wireless microphone and the light source. Simple. The most important element when starting is the quality of your video. It's the quality of your message, not the beauty of the video. Okay? It is the quality of your content, not the beauty of the video. Focus on the quality of the content, not the beauty of the video. Give people information that will transform them, that will help them, that will entertain them, that will transform, that will help them get better results. All right. And make sure you invest in a good microphone because sound quality plays a great role in the success and growth of your channel. Even if people are not seeing you with beautiful, fancy video, fancy lights, let them hear you loud and clear, just like you can hear me now loud and clear. So invest in good light source, okay? Or you can use a natural light or your normal light here, yeah? and then have a good sound quality then make sure that your message is clear. Remember, the quality of the content is better than the beauty of fanciful videos that you are thinking about. So don't stop yourself. Don't wait until you have all the finest equipment. I have over, I have almost 60K subscribers right now. I still don't have a fancy camera or gadget or beautiful background or whatever. Focus on the message. Along the line, you can begin to invest into gadgets. Number six, if you understand what YouTube wants, you will grow faster on YouTube. Simple. This is the simple truth. What YouTube wants is for people to come to the platform and stay on the platform. If your channel can give them that, YouTube will favor your channel. Okay? And this can only be achieved when people click on your video and watch your video for a longer period of time. So how do you get people to click on your video? By working on your title and your thumbnail have interesting title and have attractive thumbnails the title of your videos and the thumbnail will attract people to click on it now when they click on it it will increase your click through rate all right now when they click and they are watching the video after 30 seconds they are still watching the video it will increase your average view duration so the more people view your videos the more your watch power is increasing this would help you reach the monetization threshold faster. So if you're getting this, if people are clicking your videos and watching your videos, it means that your videos, your videos are, is, is relevant to that audience. So YouTube is going to recommend it to more people. All right. So pay attention to your title and your thumbnail and ensure that the message in your video is well articulated and very, very informative just like I'm giving you now free information. Number seven, use tutorials to increase your watch hour, okay? And then use linked videos to keep people on your channel. So for instance, you know that you want to make up to, you want to get the 4,000 watch hours faster. Use tutorials, teach people new stuff. Tell them that this background is fake. This is how I did the background. Tell them how to move from point A to B, how to bake butter cake how to do this how to import from this how to start e-commerce how to tie gele how to drive a manual car teach people stuff that will keep them glued and watch to learn 
this would help people spend more time watching your videos the more time they spend watching your videos the more your average view duration increases this will increase your watch hour and help you get to 4000 watch hours faster the more time people spend on your channel the more it triggers the algorithm to recommend your video to more people that's a simple mathematics and for you to get people to watch your channel more you have to use tutorials because people want to learn people when they come to youtube what do they search for how to blah 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 how to blah 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 how to you got you get me so give them videos on how to get that stuff it will keep them glued to your channel and then link videos link videos tell them that okay if you want to learn this I've, I've done a video on that i will link it up here or i will link it in the description below go there and watch it so link videos so that if they finish watching this one they will move to that next one and watch it what you are doing is, is that you are keeping people on your channel the more they are spending more time on your channel this will send a message to the youtube algorithm that there's an interesting thing going on in your channel. People are watching your videos more. People are spending more on your channel, spending more time. So your, ch your channel is keeping people on YouTube. So YouTube will begin to favor your videos and your channel. So use tutorials to increase your watch hour and then use linked videos to keep people more on your channel, thereby keeping them more on the platform. This will increase your recommendation and the browse features that your, your channel will be featured in. All right? I hope that with this point, you are able to implement and start getting results, okay? Thank you for watching. Please like, leave a comment, share this video with as many people you know will find it helpful, okay? If you have any questions, I'll be very happy to attend to you. I'll be in the comment section there to interact with you, okay? So ask me your questions there in the comment section. Follow me on social media. My name is Kora Jingele. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.